Okay, so this is just a broad overview of my 3D printer, um, 3-axis 3D printer. Um, it's currently printing a job, and this, I would say, is at extremely slow speed. But the slower the speed, the better the print comes out. Um, to start with, um, I built it from scratch, and it has three axes, um, an X and a Y, and then this whole component goes up and down to raise the height uh, of the Z axis. It's on, there's different builds for 3D printers, but this is what's called a gantry system 3D printer, and that's what this whole thing that's moving back and forth is called the gantry. Um, in terms of circuitry, it, it runs off of this, which is based off of the Arduino, which is an open source um, prototyping board, and I could go into that at length, but suffice to say, I didn't design this part of it, I just, I just bought it and knew what to do with it. And essentially it hooks up to three different motors that you can control to draw shapes. Um, the board itself is then uh, connected to the PC via USB and uses STL files running on this program which is called Repetier or Repetier, it's German, I don't know how they pronounce it. Um, but basically you upload your STL file which can come straight out of SketchUp it then determines how each layer or slice is formed and then it translates that to the 3D printer. The 3D printer you can set to different um, you can use a lot of different settings in terms of layer height, speed, you can uh, use different nozzles. This is a 0.4 millimeter nozzle, um, which as it sounds is extruding a 0.4 millimeter, pretty small, uh, continuous thread of plastic. I am currently using PLA plastic and this is my setup. It's just mounted to the wall, but it's a spool of plastic filament. It's 1.75 millimeters thick, and basically it's fed in to the fourth motor, and you also determine the speed um, at which it's fed through there. It goes through this tube and into what's called the hot end, and that's how it's extruded. So this is at a very slow speed. Um, 3D printing is definitely just as much of an art as a science, um, and it depends what you're 3D printing. You can get away with much faster speeds uh, depending on what you're doing. This has lots of little ridges in it, you might be able to see, and that's why I'm using a very slow speed. Um, I could probably go into more about the STL files and how to handle that, but um, I'll just let it stand like this and say that this program takes care of that. As long as you have your project file in the shape you want, you pretty much can print anything. The only limitations on mine is it's only got about a 2 inch Z height. So I, if I want something taller than that, I need to uh, print, out, print it out in multiple phases and glue it together or something. But, oh, and, and the last thing would be that it is the action of these polished threaded rods that actually push each component back and forth on its respective axis.